Draw them out. They try to get back in through the garage, which is halfway open, and then I just BAM! Right in the head. With a practice arrow. <laughs> and then grab all the loots. Did something go flying over here? Oh sure did. <laughs> I thought I saw something fly off to the right. <sighs> Another day to live through. Better get started. And do you hear that? Do you hear that? Silence? <laughs> the silence is deafening, as they say. It's so quiet in here now. Now that we got rid of Bobby the redneck chicken, there's no more squawking and scratching here inside the house. Bobby's down there in the brand spanking new coop. Right where he or she belongs. Thank goodness. I got uh, a wonderful night's sleep last night. I slept like a baby. I hope Scott did too. Hey, Scott, how'd you sleep last night? No more chicken in the house. It's excellent, isn't it? So I gave Scott here a handgun and a shotgun and one 9mm round and a shotgun shell because apparently the reason Scott didn't fight... Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you, Scott. Didn't fight in the last episode against the, uh, against the infected in that mist was because he didn't have any ammunition. So you have to give Scott here at least one round of each type of gun. One round that matches the uh, weapon that he's carrying, obviously, and he'll fight. Right? At least that's what I'm hearing. So I hope that's true. Alright, come on in. Come on in, Scott. It's alright, I'm not gonna hold it against you. Not this time. So Scott now has a shotgun and a handgun, and he better fight. Everybody fights, Scott! Everybody fights! <laughs> All right, let's, uh, oh boy, we need to drink. Let's drink a little bit of our water here. And then we're gonna get on with it. We have a, uh, we've got a grand adventure before us. Gonna grab some of that canned fruit. We're down to two cans of fruit. That's all the food we have left. So we're gonna have to go acquire more food. We can hunt and we can scavenge and we're gonna do well, probably a little bit of both today. Well, at least scavenge, I know that much. We're gonna head over to the, uh, well, first we're gonna go to the farmhouse and make up some, whoops, oh, whoop, whoop, pick that up. I wanna get this water out of here. Oh wow, look at that, thing's full. Yeah, we're gonna go to the farmhouse. We're gonna get some more metal made up because I wanna make gears. We need six gears to make a generator. And uh, we wanna make a generator to power up the house, obviously. Let's fill up our water bottle before we go. There we go, two liters of fresh H2O. Put that bucket back. And uh, I think we're ready to go. So yeah, I want to make the generator. This is like the next big thing we want to make, but we need six gears. And we only have two here at the house, so we're going to have to make them on the blacksmith workshop at the farmhouse. And then once we go to the farmhouse and get that iron made up, or at least starting anyway, and then we're going to go... I think we're going to go back to the suburbs. There's a lot of houses there to, uh, to loot. So we're going to go back there. And get some, uh, get some goodies. And Scott, you're in charge, okay? Protect the house, protect Bobby the chicken. In fact, let's go check on Bobby right now. It's Bobby, I don't want to disturb him too much. Bobby's still working on the eggs. Right there. Oh, gosh, don't, don't, don't disturb him. Although, you know what, Bobby? I should disturb him. Bobby, you're gonna give Bobby a little taste of his own medicine. How do you like it in the morning? Huh? When people wake you up. <laughs> Bobby's not laid any eggs yet. I think we have to let her just sit undisturbed for a really long period of time. Probably a whole game day or something is my guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, there's Scott. Bye, Scott! We'll see you later! Don't forget to fight with the guns I gave you. Now that it has bullets, you better. Oh, you know what? There's a house over here. We should go check out this house first. There's like a little wooden uh, log cabin over here. And I'm gonna cut right through the woods because I don't think there's a road. Watch out! There's a road there. Um, I don't think we've been here before, so let's loot this place first. I mean, it's so close. Just leave the engine running. Let's go see what's inside. It might be infected in here. Oh, I see movement. I see movement. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's at least one infected inside. So we're gonna go clear this place out, but first... Let's loot the outside. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing in the car. Anything around? Oh, a sawmill! Oh no, it doesn't work! It's just decoration! Dang it, ow! I shouldn't punch the saw. <laughs> yeah, we can make a sawmill, and that helps making planks. It's more efficient when you make planks. You can make them faster, you can make more, or something like that. Oh, wood scrap. Uh, metal scrap. I don't need wood scrap. We've got tons of wood scrap. Alright, let's clear this place out. I think I'm gonna use my bow. 
plenty of arrows. I made a bunch of new arrows. Let's see if we can do this quietly. It looks like they might be looking in the opposite direction. <gasps> oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Did I get a headshot in this guy? Yes, <laughs> oh, that was awesome. All right, one more. Oh, he's looking the other way. I gotta get him. Oh yeah, two headshots, two kills. Awesome, we got some bulletses and some sugar, electronic parts. Oh, look at the wolf skin rug, that's awesome. Nine millimeter and uh, hunting, oh, hunting arrows. Ooh. Now, do I get my arrows back? Do I don't get my arrows back? That's too bad. Oh, bandage here? All right, well, let's get those hunting arrows put in the quiver. Got a couple of those already. So now we have five hunting arrows and six regular basic old arrows. And I didn't know that they could kill with one shot. I think you have to be undetected. And if you get that shot to the head, it'll take them out one. One shot. That's awesome. All right. Let's loot the rest of this place. Nothing on the shelves. We got two big old cabinets here. Oh, good. Can of beef. We needed that. Some H2O and some 9mm rounds. Fantastic. And nothing in that one. That's too bad. Now, I wonder if we should bring these back to the house. We're pretty close. I could run them back. But, no, I don't really want to do that right now. I want to stick to the plan. Can't open that cabinet. Oh, gun. It's always good to have extra guns. What is that? Oh, a case! Chocolate bar and some rags. All right. And a big wardrobe here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh look at this. A separate... Separate uh, drawers down here. Painkillers. All three of them can be opened. Well, it's too bad we can't bring this back home. I like it. I like it a lot. I wonder if we can make something like that eventually. I know we can't make it right now. We only have the lockers as containers that we can actually build. But maybe someday down the road, the developer will add like wooden furniture. That would be special. All right, yeah, not much here. Ooh, a canoe. It's too bad we can't take boats across the water maybe someday there's another cabin over there i don't know if it's worth going there i really want to go back to the suburbs because there's so many houses there that we can go through Ugh, can't get through there so yeah let's uh let's get going i think i might run back home real quick just get organized and drop all this stuff because we don't want to carry i want to have a nice empty inventory when we go back to the suburbs because it's a long way to go, and there's a lot of houses there to loot. So I want to have lots and lots of space to be prepared for that. So I'm going to dump this off here back at home since we're right here. Hi, Bobby! Oh, shoot. Bobby's still concentrating. <laughs> and, uh, oh, watch out, Scott! What? Jeepers! Crow Scott, what's wrong with you? He didn't even stop. Ooh. Oh, my belly. M my tummy aches. I got food poisoning. How the heck did that happen? It must have been something I ate last night. Hey, Scott, you're cooking. It's terrible. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't Scott's fault. Scott did not cook anything. I ate raw potatoes and broccoli, and the broccoli was a little suspect. It didn't look right. It didn't smell right. So now we have, uh, we've got food poisoning. So I think we need to take something for that. Let's check the status. It says it was affected by a fall. <laughs> I don't think that's how I got a bellyache, but... Anyway, food poisoning may be caused by eating unhealthy foods or contaminated water. You will not be able to increase the hunger or thirst value as usual when symptoms persist. And we need antibiotics. Okay, we got plenty of antibiotics. We can take care of this. Let's take that one right there. And down the hatch. There we go. Mm. Take the whole bottle. Yeah. All right, so now it's treated. It's going to take 12 hours <laughs> for an upset stomach to be treated all right and I wanted to break down this um this handgun I got so many of them we got two metal and one component 15 minutes all right there we go okay all right Scott you're in charge okay protect the house protect the chicken we'll be back little belly aches not gonna stop us the show must go on <laughs> we're gonna get out there and do some scavenging and uh, we want to go over to the uh, the farmhouse, right? Alright, let's leave, the, leave that engine going. I think we have some metal in here from last time. Oh, we do! Very nice. Very nice indeed. 
Alright, fantastic. Now, how long and how many metal does it take to make a gear? Zero minutes. Ooh, alright. We made a gear. Sweet. Well, that's awesome. Alright, let's get some more of this going here. Alright, melt, melt, melt. We'll get three more metal. Alright, awesome. So that's three gears total now. Halfway to a generator. And oh, let's boogie. Whoa, hi! <laughs> Coming out to greet us this morning. Nice to see you again. How's things going? How's the family? The kids? Everybody good? And how are my socks? How are my socks back? We're not going in this house. We've already been in this house. Obviously, the uh, infected have returned. But we're not, we're not staying here. We're going to the suburbs. I'm going to go clear out the houses over there. There's a ton of houses over there. There's like five or six of them. And I think that's over this way. We can cut right through the farmlands. Some nice roads over here. You know, maybe someday we can get a companion for Bobby. There's other chickens around here, right? I wonder if they're all named Bobby. Whoa! What was that? Woo! Slide all around! Careful now. All right. Suburbs this way, right through the mountain pass. All right. Here we are in suburbia. I wonder if we'll find our little, um, a little popsicle bag. A little popsy. Popsy's around here somewhere. I know we had to drop that popsicle bag, unfortunately. Maybe we can pick her up today. I'm going to grab some of this water while we're here. Just don't drink it. Although, it probably doesn't matter now. We already have an upset stomach. But I'm not taking any chances. Okay. Um, we should probably just leave the car here. Alright, let's kill the engine. I don't want to leave it running. Just don't want to leave it running. Just seems wrong. And we are going to clear each house. We're going to go house by house and get all the loots. And I don't know if we're going to get to all of them today. But we're going to start here on this, on this side. And go all the way down on the left, and then come back on the right, hop in the car, and then get back home. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Now, I think we may have already gone through all these cars, but I'm going to double check anyway. In fact, I think we cleared this house out. Didn't we do one? I don't quite remember. Alright, well, let's, uh, how are we going to do this? Oh, there's a fella. Hi! Hello! Come on out and say hi, buddy. Oh, oh, I had the timing down right and you turned right. You can't get in the garage. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Oh, I'm going to waste an arrow here probably. But... All right, got him. One shot. We got the arrow back. How come we got it back that time and not before? All right, one down. Boy, this is really going to take a long time, isn't it? There's so many houses and so many infected. Maybe we should just go in with the gun. It'd be a lot faster than trying to do this quietly. Oh man, I don't see anybody over there. How many rounds of ammunition for the handgun do we have? Oh, you know what? We got plenty. We've got 30 plus 10. That's 40, according to my calculations. Oh, hello! Unless they just come out like this. Because they're easy to kill. Ooh, dang it. I missed. I mean, it, oh, look at that. This seems like a nice system. Draw them out. They try to get back in through the garage, which is halfway open. And then I just, bam, right in the head. With a practice arrow. <laughs> and then grab all the loots. Did something go flying over here? Oh, sure did. <laughs> I thought I saw something fly off to the right. Out of the corner of my eye. All right, well, this works. This might work. I'm going to go in with a handgun, though, in case we get surprised. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Hi. Nice to meet you. There we go. Garage is open. That's a good infected. Oh, yeah. This is working well. Easy does it, Arrow. I think I had a tater. All right. Is that all of them? Oh, no. No. Sounds like there's several more. At least, at least two. Get the rest with the handgun. Oh, all the loots. All the loots. Wood and metal. We really just want food. Gears. Water and scrap and all that stuff. It's pretty easy to come. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 dang it! Dang it! Oh my gosh. 
Severely wounded and bleeding. No! Oh, dang it. Did not see that guy there. Alright, well, we got hit. We got to bandage up. It's going to take a long time to heal, I think. Is that it? Just that one, and we're bleeding. Does that stop the ble bleeding? It's healing. Severely wounded. That's going to take forever. Yep, you got us good. Got us good. I think there's one more in here, maybe. Oh, man, I can't even get to here. Yeah, I'm going to stab this guy. I'm going to stab this guy because he doesn't... He will never see us coming. Oh! Almost, almost did. <laughs> oh, locked door here. Right. Right. I forget. These houses have locked doors. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's go. Let's go get our crowbar. We should probably carry that with us. I'm sure a lot of these houses have locked doors. Oh, the bleeding has stopped, thankfully, but we're still severely wounded. That's going to take a really long time to heal. The severe wounds. Because it goes from severe wounded to regular wounded and then slightly wounded. And we don't want to open up that wound again. Alright, I think this house is clear. I don't hear any more snuffling or anything. Alright, here we go. Crowbar. Proceed. Five minutes. Alright, let's get the goods. Metal's not great. Electronic parts, pretty good. We got some water and a Coke. Here we go. Painkillers. Alright, not too shabby. I prefer ammunition. But we'll take whatever is here. It's all good. Oh no. Is that the mist? The mist is rolling in. Oh boy. I wonder if they'll come in the house after us. That is very, very possible. I mean, they spawn outside in the woods and stuff, in the mist. I don't think they spawn in houses. But I don't know for sure. But they might wander in the house after us. Alright. Let's head upstairs and check it out. Ooh, components. Oh yeah. There it is. That's the sound. Salt. Wait, we didn't check the kitchen yet, did we? Oh no, we didn't. Look at all the cabinets in here. Yeah, meat. Water. Very nice. More meat and some sugar. Oh man, we gotta eat. Now, I wonder how this food poisoning is going to affect us. Let's have a can of meat. Oh, okay. I see what it, what it does. We can only go up to that point right there. That's alright. As long as we can eat and drink and fill up the belly so we don't starve or dehydrate. But I won't go past that point right there. I hear... I hear infected. Did you hear that? Somebody out there. All right. Gotta be careful here. If they see us in here, they'll probably come at us. Let's head upstairs and then we can get out of this house. More components. Pick up the wood. Oh, rifle ammo. That's good. Mm, yeah. 30 rounds in our rifle. Got a full magazine in the rifle now. That is awesome. Replace that bandage. That's nice. Oh, I hear somebody in the backyard. Oh, gosh, that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? Is it a kangaroo? I think it's Mrs. Roo from, uh, from Pooh. Pooh Bear. Right? Winnie the Pooh? Alright. Ooh, big dresser here. Let's see what's in. Oh, a shirt. Nice t-shirt that we don't need. Oh. Okay, the mist has ended. Just like that. Ooh, backpack. Upgrade. Plus two slots. That was worth a scratch or two. Don't you think? How random in this one house. We got lucky. More components and more wood. All right, backpack's almost complete. Three more slots available. We got a locked door here. All right, well, it looks like, is it nighttime or is it just these windows shaded? No, it's not that late. I think it's just the uh, the windows are dark. All right, let's open this up. Hopefully we got some ammunition in here. Oh, it's the master bedroom. 
close the door. We got the suitcase. Lashings. Nothing in that cabinet. Where's all the good stuff like the ammunition? Oh, we got some sodas here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any bullets. I prefer bullets. Oh, there we go. There's the bullets. All right. There we go. That replaced all that ammo we shot. At that one infected and missed a few times. <laughs> I love how there's ammunition in Mom's uh, beauty station. Or maybe it's Dad's beauty station. Could be. Maybe they share it. Who knows? No one will ever know. All right. Let's go. We're done with this house. I'm not sure we can even do another house. We're, we're loaded up. We are already loaded up. And looks like it's going to get dark soon. Did we check the whole garage? No, we never checked this car right here. No car parts and nothing in the trunk. All right. Too bad. Uh, I might have missed a few things. Well, like this wood. I don't need the scrap. But I'm not too concerned about it. I'm going to go dump most of this stuff in the trunk of the uh, Soccer Mom SUV. And then maybe we'll do one more house. I think we might have room, uh, time. Might have time and space for one more house. Okay, I think we have time and a little bit of space for one more house. We're going to pull the car up a little closer, though. And we will stick to the left-hand side. We'll do the next house on the road. Oh, is that our old suitcase right there? Yes, it is. It's Popsy. Hello, Popsy. <laughs> I still don't think we're able to bring Popsy home, unfortunately. Can't get Popsy in the car. It is our Popsy, right? Looks like our Popsy. All right, this time we're going to go right in. Guns blazing. I'm not messing around with any more infected. I'm trying to be sneaky and tricky. We're just going to shoot. We have enough bullets to do some shooting. And you know what? I don't even hear any infected in here. I don't hear any infected in this house. I think we're clear. All right, well, let's make this quick. And we can get home. And then we can go to bed and heal up. Let's look at our health. It's bad. <laughs> It's very, very bad. And I think we can sleep it off. And we'll feel better in the morning. Maybe this food poisoning will be gone. And our injuries will be healed. I hope so anyway. Oh, look at this nice porch here. Screened in porch to keep the buggies out. Although, we seem to be missing a door. That won't keep the infected out. <laughs> yeah, this house is clear, which is weird. Go. I don't need any more cloth. I don't need cloth. Don't need cloth. I'm not grabbing any more cloth. Bandages are great. I guess I can shut that light off right now. Oh, there's a locked door. All right, we'll save that for last. Oh, another one. Another one. We'll come back for those. Let's go check the second floor. Another bathroom. Oh, we need bottles. I haven't found any empty bottles. That's really weird. We could use a few more bottles for, um... Oh, another locked door. For making more booze. There's the messy teen's room. It's the teen gut in their room. Nothing in here. Except a dirty rag. And a bunch of stuff on the floor that we can't pick up. Alright, let's open this up. Five minutes. This is where all the goodies are. Yep, mom and dad's room. Also very messy. Ooh, right. 12 gauge shotgun shell. Sewing kit. Check the beauty station. That's where they had the ammunition. Nope, this one just has rags. Okay, our severe wounds have been healed. Thank goodness. Does this just go outside? Oh, that just leads outside. That's weird. We just come into the garage anyway. Where's the other one? Here it is. All right, five minutes. Aha! A suitcase, an axe, and some water. And what is that? Chocolate. But no bullets. All right. I think we got everything here. So let's boogie. You know what? I think there were a bunch of bottles over here. Weren't there? I just have to be careful with my wounds. I don't want to open them up again. Yeah, let's go around the corner here. And see if there were some empty bottles around here. Oh, got one. Here's one by the couch. <laughs> one empty bottle. 
Okay, one empty bottle. Better than no empty bottles. Oh, I gotta heal up. I gotta put a bandage on that wound. There we go. Alright, all better. That'll speed up the healing process. Okay, and now it's time to go. Hop in, I'm driving. Alright, we're back on the road, heading home. It's not too far, but we do have to get around these roadblocks. And sometimes there are randits over here. There's a randit. Bunches of them. Oh, sheesh, shooting at us. I'm just going to go right past. I am not engaging them right now. No time. We'll come back for them later. <laughs> they must have a base around here somewhere. Home sweet home. Pull right into the garage. Get the trunk out. Because we got a lot of stuff in there I need to go through. Kill the lights. Kill the engine. All bums out. Okay. Let's check the loot. Look at all that stuff. Not too shabby. That's a pretty good haul, if I say so myself. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to get organized and get ready for the next episode. And I'll probably go grab my metal at the farmhouse and have all the gears ready to go. Because we have... Where's my gears at? All right, we have three gears now, including the one on the, uh, on the car. And I'm going to try to get all six gears before the next episode. And then we'll have, uh, we'll make up our generator. Scott? Scott? I wonder where the heck Scott is. He must be in bed already. Let's go check on the chicken. Bobby, did you lay me any eggs yet? Still no eggs. How long is this going to take? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, there's Scott. Where you been? You taking a walk in the woods, dude? All right. Hey, look at a shotgun shell. <laughs> it's sticking out of the gun. That's not where it goes. Scott. Your shotgun shell is falling out. All right, I'm back and all organized and ready for bed. It's actually 12.30 in the morning. The wounds have healed and the food poisoning has worked its way through the system. So we can go ahead and have a dinner before bed. And I've got some uh, a can of meat right here. Mm. Down the hatch, delicious. And we'll wash it down with a Mountain Dew. And now we can go to bed and be ready for tomorrow. We're going to go make those gears. We have, uh, whoops, where is it? Yeah, three gears so far. We need to make three more, and then we can make that generator. And we'll get some uh, we'll get some power in the house, finally. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. All right, let's get to bed. Oh, how's Scott doing? Oh, Scott's sleeping. Shh. Shh. He needs his beauty sleep. All right, there we go. Climbing into bed. Oh, wow, it's already one, so let's go seven hours. We'll sleep till eight, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Good night.